hello everyone in this video I will show you how to fetch parameters value in servlet so for this demonstration I am going to develop a web application in which we will be having a login page where user will enter username and password and servlet will process that information servlet will check whether that username and password is equivalent to some uh, particular username and password or not so first of all we need to write our servlet we need to import these package javax.servlet.http and import java.io.star then we need to create a class let's say we are creating a class uh, verify servlet and we need to extend http servlet class in this one then we need to define do get or do post method so now if in our web page that login html file if we are using a get method in that case we will define here do get so let's say we are going for do get so we will write a do get method this method need two parameter first one is for request second one is for response and this uh, method actually can generate these two type of exception which we are not going to handle we just simply specifying using throws keyword so here what uh, we are going to do first we will specify type of content server going to send to client so server can send text information or HTML information so here we are going to fetch our information let's say we are taking two variable string user so whatever uh, value actually coming from client those data actually available in this parameter request or eq and we are having a method get parameter and here is specify name of parameter so let's say for time being assume we are having a parameter with u name and same password or eq dot get parameter p and let's uh, let's say we will match match it whether username is equal to admin and password also equivalent to admin so if this is the case uh, we will send a simple message to client that successful login if these value are not according to admin and admin whatever the condition we are I have specified here and if user is specifying something else in that case we will print h2 line tag and let's say error login failed so this one is done uh, we will save this file for timing on desktop so on the desktop we are saving it with same name verify servlet dot java we will compile it we will go to desktop and then we will try to compile it so if you are getting these type of errors it means uh, class path for servlet api jar file is not set what you need to do go to your tomcat library see program files 
Apache Software Foundation Tomcat lib. So this is the file which we need. So you can set a class path for this jar file or you can uh, put it on the desktop. When you compile it, here we will specify name of this jar file. So CP stands for actually class path. So we are specifying a class path temporarily. Okay, and uh, you can specify that class path uh, to this file if this file is stored in live directory as well. But in that case, we need to write a lot C then program files Apache Software Foundation. So in order to avoid that, likely I decided to put this one on desktop. So my file is compiled successfully. Second, we need to create a login page. So we need a simple HTML file and body and we will create a form. Form method here we will specify we are using get method and uh, for time being we are skipping this part. So in form uh, users then after user we want to show a text box name so here the name of variable is you so whatever user will specify in that text box that will be stored in user variable you then password input type password name p and then input type submit value login so here our login file is done we will save it now we need to create that directory structure so let's say i am creating here directory test in this one we need to create one more directory web inf and in this one we need to create one more directory and that will be classes so in classes directory put your compiled class okay and in test directory we will uh, save our login file so we will save this file in this one and name it login.html now uh, last thing we need we need a X mapping file so i am already having a mapping file i am uh, taking this one so servlet name here we can give any name then servlet class so name of our servlet class is verify servlet and uh, this is the for mapping so here servlet name demo whatever we have given here and then url so let's say url i am giving login verify so this is this will be the url for our application and we will save it inside web and with name web.xml now everything is done what we need to do next copy this directory and go to your tomcat directory in c program files and here web apps put it here now uh, we actually missed one part the URL of our servlet, verify servlet, will be uh, localhost colon 8080 because we are testing this uh, application on a server running on same machine. And then uh, after IP address and port number of web server, name of your uh, directory, which is test, test, then login, then verify. So in our login.html, here what we will write HTTP localhost 8080 
directory name test and then whatever URL we have given so we have given this URL as you can see here login verify we will save it and then again we will copy it now we will run our application so open browser and first we need to start our login file localhost so in my case my web server is already running if you can see here apache tomcat and that green symbol it indicates that server is running 8080 name of my directory and then login.html so here i am having a login page now let's say I am specifying admin admin. So if you can see uh, it's printing a message successful login and we have used get method. So in get method whatever information we will supply that information actually visible in URL. Now let's say specify something else. Let's say admin and anything. So I am writing secret. So in that case it's saying error login failed. So you can patch value of any parameter with the help of get parameter method of HTTP servlet request class. Thank you very much. For